Okay, so here we're with Bjorn, and he's been anesthetized. He's all hooked up to his monitors. We're keeping track. You can see over here we've got his heart, uh, the ECG trace going. We've got his blood pressure, which measures his blood pressure, make sure it doesn't get too low. There's his cuff. I've got another little clip right here on his tongue that measures how much oxygen saturation is in his blood. So we're making sure that everything is nice and safe. We're monitoring his respiratory rate. You can see him breathe right there. And this is how we do monitoring when we're doing surgical anesthesia to make sure that the animals are all safe. You want to make sure that all of these things are dealt with so that nothing gets forgotten about while we're doing surgery. Karen's my nurse here and she's going to be helping me monitor all of these things. The surgery is a small one and it's going to be pretty quick. It's non-sterile because the inside of the mouth is a dirty area uh, so we don't have to worry about keeping a sterile field because it's impossible to sterilize this area anyway we're gonna get going right now so what we're looking at over here is we're gonna be biopsying this lesion right here which is on the inner surface of Bjorn's left cheek and if you can take a look at it you can see that it's ulcerated it's depigmented ulceration just means that the surface is kind of like a crater and depigmentation means that it's a different color compared to the rest of the area that it's around. So when we take our biopsy, we're gonna actually literally be, be taking a little piece of this with this tool right here called a biopsy punch. That's an edge tool. It's got a little hollow cylinder and the edges of the cylinder on the outside there is actually a cutting edge. And what that allows us to do is put it in the affected area right there and it'll make, it'll take out like a little cookie cutter actually a little circular piece of tumor and then we're going to put that in some formalin and we're going to send it off to the pathologist so we can get some answers and then we're just going to stitch him up he's already had his antibiotic injection so we know he's not going to get any infections inside there and then it's just a waiting game until we get that pathology report so let's go ahead and get going so Karen why don't you go ahead and get my biopsy punch for me all right we're going to take a little bit of glove a little bit of gauze over here and she's going to help a little bit by positioning. I mean, I need to pick an area that looks like there's going to be some action because I don't want to get a false negative on my biopsy. False negative means that the, the pathologist says, oh, we don't see any cancer, when actually there is cancer. What it means is you miss the spot. So we're going to go right there, right on the edge, and we're going to just twirl a little bit to make sure that we have some cutting. See if it pops out. Fabulous. There's my piece. Now I'm just going to remove that with little scissors. And I want to make sure that I get it nice and deep. Again, you don't want to miss any cells in there that the pathologist might need when they're making the diagnosis. Okay, it's going to go right in this formalin. This is a preservative. That way it doesn't break down when it's in the Federal Express package over to the lab. Now what we're going to do is simply put a stitch in so that we can close that area up and it doesn't get infected. I'm just going to dab it off a little bit there because there's a small amount of blood. And I'm choosing a suture material here that'll get absorbed by the body. And the reason for that is I don't want to have to go back in and take these stitches out because it's not very fun for the dog. So I'm just going to use this stuff called Vicryl. And the body will break this down about six weeks. And uh, we won't have to deal with any suture removal. Sometimes you can use an absorbable suture and sometimes you can't. It really depends on the area that's being operated on. I'll put one more stitch in there just to make sure that it doesn't come open during the time that it's been healing. Sometimes areas that are abnormal like this, if this is indeed a cancer, and again I'm really, really keeping my fingers crossed as my poor boy Bjorn, I really don't want this to come back cancer, but anyway, uh, some, if, if there are cancer cells in here, sometimes the healing gets a little bit delayed. So we want to just make sure that everything is nice and stitched up because the normal healing mechanisms are disrupted by the cancer cells which are there blocking the new healing tissue. Gas off. 
Okay, let's, we're going to turn our isoflurane, which is the gas, off because we want to be waking this guy up now. Okay, we're done with the biopsy procedure. All that we're going to do now is just dab this off. He's already got his pain control medication on board, which I administered to him before the surgery, so he'll be comfortable when he wakes up. And uh, that's how you do a biopsy.